I would like just to say a few words before before uh, Alex introduce the rest of, of, of our short program. Uh, I'm truly blessed to be here today with all of you, and I've been in Cleveland for almost six years, and just since our arrival, Alex and Lex and whoever was helping them uh, installed uh, four new bus, if I'm not mistaken. I missed one because they were in Serbia at that time. And to have something as a particular nation, which is not, not really large in size, to have something as representative as this in Cleveland, and knowing that this is the only place in the world that has something like that, we should really be, be, be proud of, of that. Unfortunately, you know, we always expect more people, and hopefully, you know, for World Day and for some other occasions, we are going to have more people. There are so many things going on. But it is truly a blessing to have something like this, and not only for this occasion, but to come any given day, rest, think about your history, think about your culture, think about your ancestors, and think about everyone who came before us to this particular area. And to start it originally, you know, with, with, as Yugoslavian garden, and then later on, it developed uh, as it is. Thank uh, be also to these great two men, father and son, who more than anybody put themselves to the task to make this happen and to keep it alive and to enrich it. God willing, we should all learn from that and try our best really, to upkeep it. I'm also uh, particularly blessed on today's day because of the person whose bus was installed. I remember when I was even in elementary school, but in seminary when we learned about poet Jovan Ducic, as part of his life it was mentioned at the end that his legacy was, his last will was that his uh, remaining be transferred to Herzegovina, to the uh, city of Trebinje, and out of whatever uh, was left over from, from uh, his property, the church uh, be built, which would look like uh, Monastery Gracianica in Kosovo. And he passed away in 1943. He was briefly buried in Indiana, close to the church of St. Sava, then in uh, 1946 moved to St. Sava Monastery. And through 60s and on, so many people were trying to fulfill his wish. Eventually, there was, no enough, there was not enough of uh, what he left you know, to, to accomplish such tests, but there were always some people willing to do it. But because of, of his attitude, because of his patriotism during communism, there was no chance that his body could be returned there. And thank God in 2000, year 2000 in October, one of the people from Herzegovina, Branko to Pinec, uh, spent uh, approximately two and a half millions with the help of so many different people and his uh, body, Jovan Duc, was transferred to Gračanica and church was erected, which is beautiful and looking uh, from the hill on, on the city of Trebinje, one probably arguably the most beautiful cities in that part of Europe. And when I say particular blessing for me personally is after reading about him in elementary school and seminary, I was, it happened. Uh, like that, I was one of few people who actually physically took him out of the grave and he was being transferred, but just happened to be in the monastery. And after uh, being buried for 57 years, when we uncovered his remainings, we were warned by one gentleman from, from funeral home, you know, now when we open it, we have to be quick because of oxidation and everything, you know. None, none of those things actually happened. When we opened the casket, his body was whole, completely, everything. You know, his lyrica, his uh, one of, if not the best of his publications that actually uh, was published on the day of his death was on his chest, his whole body intact. We took him out and even his weight was like a normal man, not somebody who was buried for 57 years. He was transferred and, you know, preparation done and he was transferred to his beloved Trebinje and put uh, his body now in the uh, in the church. They also called New Gračanica, now in Monastery Trebinje. Uh, I was wondering and so many people and journalists, I remember, at that time, we were questioning, you know, what happened you know, with his uncorrupted body because we expected some stand from church and so on. But I know some people also said that uh, particular funeral homes in that time were actually doing embalming already. So it wasn't clear what he was his body embalmed or not. So I guess that's their, uh, this ki kind of like quietness, you know, stays why church never uh, discussed that, that particular. Uh, event. But may God bless all of you who came here today, may God bless all of you who generally support throughout the year and for golf outing and for the dinner that Alex organizes. And may God make us all proud that we bring, come regularly here, but that we also bring our children and grandchildren here to this blessed place. Yeah. Alex.